What's up guys, Tesla just released the first preview of full self-driving for 40.50. On their feature note, it actually says full self-driving preview. Now remember, this is only preview, especially when the car detects stop sign, stop lights, trash can, uh, and all other signals. It's only for detection and it won't actually do anything. On this video, we're just going to talk about the top 5 preview full self-driving feature that's included on 40.50. I honestly wasn't expecting Elon to release a featured complete full self-driving in 2019. I know he did say that, but I was actually not expecting it to come. This video would also include all video demonstration of the features, so make sure you watch it. You actually get to see how the car detects, uh, you know, stop signs, stop lights, railroad uh, signs, and it's it's amazing. That's all I could say. Now, before we start this video, our today's sponsor is Broussant Floor Mat. They have a five-star review on Amazon. Their floor mat comes with a stylish and guarantee of quality. And if you would like to get one for free, make sure you watch till the end of this video. And if you would like to participate in this channel, just sharing your Tesla experience, make sure you watch till the end of the video as well. And lastly, make sure you like and subscribe if you actually enjoy this content. So let's go ahead and get started on today's video. Tesla is releasing yet the biggest software update version 40.50. There's a lot to cover on this video. If you're interested on the previous update, 40.1.1 or 40.2 or 40.2.2, check out my channel to see what's included on those versions. Here's a breakdown of the top feature introduced on this software 40.50. The first feature that we have is the driving visualization improvement. Remember when Elon tweeted on December 19th, Tesla holiday software update, full self-driving sneak peek. I wasn't sure what to make of it. A new full self-driving was nowhere close to be completed. Then Elon followed up on Saturday or Sunday with another tweet saying, Sorry, it's been a bit of a struggle. Software team has been working all weekend to resolve last minute issue. Hopefully it starts rolling out tonight. And here we are, Lord behold, the first full self-driving preview starts at a version 40.50 officially. As you will see in your setting, Tesla calls it full self-driving preview under autopilot navigation. So what's included under this version? The first and most noticeable is the visualization on the screen. Tesla wrote, the driving visualization can now display additional objects that include stop light, stop signs, and select road marketing. Yes, you heard that right. The car can now recognize stop lights. Now remember though, although the car can recognize stop light, stop sign, and stop lane. The car will not stop. This is simply a recognition feature. As you are aware of the stop sign first got introduced on 40.2.1, it hardly recognized the stop sign. I'm expecting the same thing to be true for stop line and stop lane. The initial 40.5 will be very buggy, but the next improvement, 40.5.1, it should improve significantly. Now, What's the next feature that we have? The next feature that we have is the phone improvement. Now your phone can read, respond to a text on your behalf by simply using the right scroll wheel button. Now your car can read and respond to text messages on your behalf by simply using the right scroll wheel button on your steering wheel. When a new message arrives, press the right scroll to have your message read out out loud. And if you press again, you can reply back to that text message. The third feature, which is by far my favorite and all Tesla owners are looking forward to this feature, is the voice command. You can now command majority of your car's function by simply pressing the voice command key and asking the car to do specific function like open the glove box, adjust the right mirror, and so forth. The feature note states, voice command have been rebuilt to understand natural language for this initial release, we focus on commands that minimize having to touch the screen so you can keep your eye on the road. Anonymized voice commands that are now recognized will be captured for future training and improve this system in future software update. The goal of voice command is for it to recognize your voice, the owner of the car giving it the command. If the voice doesn't detect the owner's voice or fail, it will improve on future release. Tesla will improve on this voice command just like Google Assistant. The phone recognizes your voice and only follows your direction and not anyone else's. For now, here's what is included on the commands. You can now set up your climate by saying set the temperature to 70 
or set the temperature to whatever you want. You could also say turn on the passenger seat heat. For the vehicle you could say adjust my right mirror, my left mirror or you could say open the glove box. For navigation you could say where are the nearest supercharged station or let's go to work, let's go home. And you could also say play Beatles or play a specific artist. And if you want to call someone, you could say call Dave or call Yvonne or call mom or dad. You could also now say show me the rear camera or open autopilot setting. And a lot more commands will be introduced as newer version gets released. I'm sure a lot of you would love this new feature. It's actually by far my favorite. Then you have a small minor feature which is like very important and it's called dashcam clip on honk. By simply honking your car. Tesla Dashcam will capture that specific event and deletes anything else that you don't need because Tesla at all time captures video from your Dashcam. Now you don't need to waste an excessive amount of storage only when you actually need a specific event to be recorded. Then for those who love camping, Tesla introduced camp mode. Now you can use your car as a camp tent. You can now maintain airflow, temperature, interior light, play music, power device when camp mode is enabled and if you want to enable camp mode you could tap the fan icon at the bottom of the screen and set keep temperature on the camp while your car is at the park i'm sure tesla would add a voice command for the camp mode as well i will keep you guys updated with new features getting released make sure you subscribe to make sure you know about future release of software and also as we hear more updates on this feature so how do you get a free set of Tesla Model 3 floor mats? Anyone who gets interviewed on this channel sharing their experience buying their Tesla car, talking about autopilot, smart summon, anything you like about the car, anything that you dislike about the car, just sharing your experience pretty much, you get a free Tesla Model 3 floor mat. Now this is only for Model 3s. So reach out to me on this email address here and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. What do you think about smart summon? Have you used oh, it? Yeah. What do you think about that? I used it two times. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so actually, no, three times. Okay. So I used it. I used it one time. The